I'm Laura. And we are Two Paper Girls. Today we are finally getting round to doing the Future Life book tag. We were tagged by Kales from, what's her channel name? Michaela's Corner. Kale's Corner. Down below. We will leave her channel. She's amazing. She tagged us ages ago. We were like, we couldn't really, we thought we couldn't do this tag at uni because we don't have all our books here, but we do actually have quite a few that we've read. So we're going to basically randomly pick books and pages and that like determines your future. I like things like this. You know when you used to make the little paper things? Yeah. In secondary school, I used to be like, picking them and they used to go one, two, three, four, five. They used to like peel it off. They used to be like, how are you going to have a dog? Or Not mash. She's like, how are you going to live in an attic with ten kids? <laughs> oh yeah. And he used to feel like, there's no other future for yeah. me. Oh. This is going to come true. <laughs> and like, it's pretty ironic now because we just smiled for the thumbnail and then Laura was like, oh, I'll put a picture of a house and in my head I was like, if we even get a house. <laughs> so yeah, this could be gloomy, but it's books that I love, so let's go! Question one is open book one to a random page, look at the first word on the page. If it's less than five letters, you will go to college, uni. If it's more than five letters, you won't. So Ooh. we're going to randomly... My education. Grab. Random, oh, random page. page. I have the Hunger Games. I have um, the Messenger. Okay, random page. What? First word on the page. Compliment. <laughs> And you'll go to uni and adult. Question two is open book one to a random page, the book we've just used. I think so, yeah. The name, the first name you see, think of that person's job, that would be your job. No, oh. is the person still in school, you'll be a teacher. If you don't know the job, you're unemployed. Oh no. I have the Hunger Games. I have, I have the Messenger. So you're probably going to be a taxi driver. Oh, or a dog. <laughs> uh, Peter, can I say I'm a baker rather than an unemployed mentally anguished teen. I can't remember what Richie does, but I'm, I reckon Richie's either unemployed or a taxi driver. Mm -hmm. Laugh of pie. Oh no, unravel me. Oh no. <laughs> uh, open book two to a random page. The first name you see will be a person you marry. Whoa. Oh, come on, come on. Castle. Oh, what a <laughs> Richard <corner>. Parker. <laughs> I've joked about this before. I was really hoping for Warner. It was even the second half. Not like, it's gonna be Warner. It's gonna Who'd be Warner you get? Castle, who's like Paisley Professor Xavier from X Men. Oh, he just yeah. is in charge oh. of the place, and he's just he's all right. Oh. Could be worse. Could be Adam. What's wrong or with like, Adam? You will see. Adam. You know, or it could have been Juliet. I could be married to her. Oh, oh god. Deal with her. Oh, I wanted Warner. Damn happy right so now. So I'm an unemployed baker married to Castle. I am a zero hours contract taxi driver at university married to Richard Parker. Your life is a lot better than mine. Oh, we keep this book for the next question. Okay. Open book two to a random page. The first name you'll see will be your best friend. I've got a problem. Warner, Warner, there's Warner, only Warner. two people in this book. Juliet. Oh, no. <laughs> I don't want to be best friends with her. She's so annoying. Well, well actually, there's only she's two all right. characters in this book. Oh, I'm oh, sorry. Piscine Molitor Patel. I don't know who that is. Bye. Oh, cool. His real name's Piscine. Life is full so of jealousy far. because Pi is really jealous that Richard Parker turned and looked at me and married me, but didn't actually turn back and look at him after all they went through. Maybe you're best friends because Pi is Richard Parker's best man at the wedding. Oh. So that's how you and him bonded. That's really sweet. Right, question five is open book three. We get to pick a new book to a random page. Look at the second word on the page and count how many letters that word has. Remove two letters. That's how many children you have. Don't particularly like that one. The Dark Shade of Magic, which I'm currently reading, and it's really good. The Grace Keepers by Kirsty Lowe. A second word. Oh, second this is alright. Second word is said. Oh. Take away two letters, that's two kids. That's, that's, that's good. My second word is rested, take away two, is four. Four human tiger babies. Four human... Oh. I don't know if that's cute or not. I get cubs. <laughs> oh, that is quite cute. <laughs> Simply on. My life just got a bit weird. <laughs> Question six, you stick with your book. How many children did you have? Open the book as many times to see who your children will be. If you have no children, open the book once. The first name you see will be something of your choice. Oh, like a neighbour. Well, well, we've, we've all got kids, kids so it's okay. okay. So I open it twice. First name, Kel. Whitby. Kel is good. Kel is a son. I it's like kind of good because as far as I've got, he doesn't know what happened in his childhood so I can be his mum and he won't have like all the problems. I like Whitby. Whitby's cute. And the second, oh Kel again. Very Does that mean I've got twins? Or do I look for another one? Ainsel and red gold. Very Ainsel red gold. I and just Whitby. keep seeing Kel so I'm going to say that I've got two 
magic twins, magic twins who can travel time. between multiple dimensions and bring me bread for my bakery from each one. <laughs> Question seven is, pick another book, book four. Where does this book take place? This will be the place you will live. I'm not picking okay, I'm wolf gonna by like, wolf for that. I'm going to randomly choose, so I'm not influenced. Okay. Oh, I can tell what it is. It's Hollow City. No, Library of Souls. <gasps> oh, that's your dream one. <laughs> okay, Library of I don't really know where this takes place, because they travel about, and I haven't actually read this one yet. So... I live in a superhero land. I'd be in Miss Peregrine's home of Bagoonie Children, which isn't too bad because it's always sunny and they have a nice routine to their life. Question 8 says, open book 4 to a random page. The first name you see, does this person have a car or a bike, etc. Uh, this will be your mode of transport in your life. Note, teleporting broom is allowed. <sighs> if they have no means of transport, then you have to do public transport. Okay. The perfectionist. I don't know. Does a perfectionist have a mode of transport? She probably has a car. She probably She's she in does. a plane at the end. She's, she does go in a plane. And I would love a plane. I'm going to say that I'd use public transport or time loops. What are they called? Loops? loops. I'm going to say I transport with loops because that's kind of how they all travel around in general. Apart from that, they walk. So I either do public transport or I go in between dimensions with loops. Which makes sense if my kids are from a Kel twins from a Dark Shade of Magic. Oh. Lots of time travel Very and dimension nice. travel. Last two questions. Question nine is book five. Does this book have any animals in it? Pick your favourite animal. That will be your pet. No animals in the book, you will have no pet. I have The Great Gatsby by F. Scott Fitzgerald. I don't think any characters have pets in this. No. Because they're all just rich and... Don't they care. probably have horses. Like Daisy probably has horses. Oh, yeah. Okay, yeah, it's got a polo, it's got horses in it. Cause yeah, he plays polo, so I have a horse. There is rats eating the the exploding rat. I'll have a pet rat. Not like I'm married to a tiger or anything. So last question: Open book five to a random page. The first name you see will be your enemy. Oh, oh, I'm gonna have a good enemy from The Great Gatsby. Uh, next, Daisy. That makes sense. Hector is my enemy. I feel like Daisy and Juliet are kind of similar, so maybe like. Daisy and Juliet. I stole Juliet as a friend from Daisy and that's why she hates me. I like Hector. Hector's lovely. Maybe he's your enemy. He's my enemy. Daisy's my enemy, which is fine. I'm sad I about it. I'm happily trample her with my horse. Okay, so that is it for our future life book tag. We're just going to give you a quick summary of our lives. So, these are the books that we picked. So, from the Hunger Games, I found out that I'm not going to university and that I'm going to be a baker like Peter. And then my second book, I found out I was married to Castle and my best friend was Juliet. Um, my third book, I have two magical twins called Kel, um, because that's, that determines your children. Book four, I live in Miss Peregrine's home for, for peculiar children and travel around via loops and public transport. And then I have a horse and I'm enemies with Daisy. That's not a bad life. My life is a bit all over the place, mm. as per... I found out that I am going to university, but I am an unemployed slash taxi driver on the side. Um, what did I... F oh, I'm married to Richard Parker, but my best friend is Pi. There's some jealousy issues. Oh, yeah, I have four children called Whitby, Red Gold, Very... And then someone else. I didn't really like the fourth one, anyway. <laughs> um, I have a plane... And I live in a superhero land where everyone's not really superheroes, but you'll think we are a bit deranged. They probably think of my superhero is like being the wife of a tiger. And I have a pet rat, and my enemy is Hector from Maggot Moon, who is one of the nicest person ever, which says something about how horrible I am so in my other life, in my future life. <laughs> so yeah, that was a bit of a weird one. Probably should have used contemporary books for yeah. this. Fantasy ones. I don't think a life made up of Hunger Games and Ravel Me and Library of Souls is that positive. That's it though. It's our future Resign life. Resign to my fate. I'm sitting really. It's how the cookie crumbles. <laughs> so that's it with the future life book tag. It took us so long to do, but we're really in the mood to do it. And we couldn't be bothered to wait till we were home for Easter because then we'd probably forget. So we really, really enjoyed this. Thanks for tagging us. Kales will leave her video and the original video down below. And we're going to tag Leah from Drums of Autumn because she's a sweetie pie. And I want to know what her <laughs> life will be like. Uh, we hope you have a good time doing it, Leah, and we'll see you on the next video. Bye! I'm ready to go. 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 Go.